Hello everyone, welcome back. Thank you for tuning in. This week, patrons voted on a flower painting, so that's what we'll focus on today. I usually do a landscape scenery, but today I thought I'd do something different and paint a blurry background and uh, focus on the details of the flowers and I'll add some butterflies too, to uh, you know fill in the areas. So we'll see what's gonna happen and we'll have fun. Before we get started, I'd like to share a couple exciting announcements for you. First one is, I opened up a Facebook group where you can share your recreations and share your uh, process, your work, what you're creating. Um, and so that's a community where you can join in. It'll be available to all $5 level patrons and up. So be sure to check that out. And the second announcement is I have a sale going on on my website. Check that out. It'll go until February 13th. Okay, let's go over the materials needed for today. We need this blending brush. I like to use two of them, so if you do have two of them, great. Um, one to first lay down the coat, and then the second one, I like to blend it in real quick before the, you know, so that the paint won't dry super fast. But uh, you could totally use one. We need some of these artist lock brushes, just a couple of them. I believe this is a number eight, and then this one's a number four. I always say artist lock brushes, but I'd like to show you guys they come like this in a pack and there's a bunch of them. It's very cheap. You can get this for like uh, nine or $10 at Michael's. Um, and then some of these, uh, they'll have numbers on them and it's a number eight and a number four I'm using. So, you know, pick and choose, experiment with other ones if you'd like, but this is good for adding some of the, you know, uh, texture on your canvas and I'll show you how to use it. And then uh, any half an inch flat brush, will do and any detailed brush will do this one's a double zero round detail brush right here and for the paint we need cadmium medium yellow ultramarine blue naphtho medium red titanium white and carbon black you could use any acrylics you have available these are just a little more high quality paints. They're, uh, they're more pigmented and uh, vibrant than some of the cheaper brands. I always recommend uh, if you're you know, experimenting and testing, um, you can use the, you know, any paints you have available. But if you're working on a personal project and you wanna make it detailed and you wanna keep the painting, I always recommend uh, high quality paints and a high quality canvas too because it depends on the canvas you're using. Sometimes canvas can soak in too much if it's cheap uh, of the paint and, um, and it's kind of rough, but a higher quality canvas, if you spend a little more uh, money on it, you'll get a better, um, softer, you know, canvas. We need a palette, a palette knife to mix your paint, a jar with water in it. I got a new jar because I lost my yogurt jar upgrading a little bit and then if you have a hair blow dryer use that for your first coat to dry it out real quick and then some paper towels to wipe your brushes and if you want to wipe off your palette knife that works good and then of course your main instrument is your hands we need that to create a piece this is a 16 by 20 inch canvas and is ready to go. Okay, first things first, we're gonna try to get the background all blended in and covered. So take your palettes and then take your titanium white and then we're gonna just create a few shades. So I'm using like almost two thumb thumbnails right there. I'm gonna put one right here one right here just you know spread it out right there okay it's good enough and we might add more so now we're going to take our yellow and add it just a little bit right here a little bit right here just on the a little more here and a little more here like this see a lot more here and it's just less 
Okay. Next, we're going to take the blue, add it right in here, like about this much. Okay. And then a little less here, just a little less. And I think we'll leave it at that. Okay. And then we're going to take our red. And then I'm going to add it right in here. Just a little bit right there. Just a little bit. That's good enough. Let's mix those colors. And, and this is if you're this part is going to be the back. We're painting the background. It's going to be blurry. So it does not have to be exactly the same as mine. You know, if yours is a little more yellow or a little more red, it, it's OK. Just, you know, it doesn't have to be exactly the same. The background is always going to be different. Nobody will be able to tell, um, you know, coming in after your background's done. Oh, your your background right here, this part is a little too white. It should have been darker. And you you'll see what I mean because the background's going to be all blurry. But let's just mix our colors real quick first. So this one's going to be you know, like a lighter yellow color. We just want to make it a little bit colorful and green in the back. Next, and you don't need to spend too much time blending your uh, shades. I first like to mix my colors first to see uh, what it gives me, then I go back and add, um, you know, whatever color I need. If I think it's too dark, I'll add white. If it's missing some color, I'll add whatever color I need, you know, just uh, play with it. This one gives me a, like a lighter green color. And then our last shade right here should give us a darker green color. But since it has that blue, it, I mean the white, all these colors have the white added to them. It uh, kind of neutralizes. It takes away the the vi vibrancy from the colors. But that's what we want because we want to make our background kind of be blurry. You could see some of the color, but not like intense. You know, that's why we're gonna focus on the details of the flowers, and that's what, where we'll add more of the color right there. There you go. So I'm looking at this and I'm wondering, is this going to cover all the, the 16 by 20 inch canvas? Um, uh, I think I need to make another shade. I'm going to make another darker greener shade. And also I think I'm going to add a little more white here and a darker shade right there. So let's add the white first. Just like, just to make it a little lighter right there. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of white right in here, just a little bit like this. And add yellow and black this time. So yellow, about this much. And then just black. It'll be our darkest color. But not too much black. See right there. So let's first mix. Um, let's, I'm going to clean my palette knife so I won't carry too much of that green. I'm just going to clean it real quick. It doesn't have to be perfectly clean. Just real fast and then mix your shade. And if your colors are like... If you like the way you see your colors, leave it. You don't need to even do this part. I'm just doing it for fun. Showing you how I work. Right there. And then let's mix our final color right here. And because I added white, it gives me like a grayish look. 
which is kind of cool. But it has that green in it, you know? Okay, so I think that does it. That'll cover the whole canvas with these colors. I decided to add just a tinium white right here. We might use it in our background right here. So these are the colors. So let's take one of our uh, blending brushes. If you have one, use that one. And we're going to take our water jar here and dab it in halfway, about this much, you can see. Okay, and then squeeze it out a little bit like this, so it won't be too wet, but there is some water in there, okay? And so first thing we're gonna do is, we're just gonna add the colors wherever we want them, okay? Just gonna add the lighter ones first. So let's start with the yellow. Let me just start with this color, and just take it right there, and let's add a little bit in here, just randomly. Let's add, spread it, spread it out evenly, okay, wherever you want it. Right there, maybe some in here in the corner. Just take all of it and do it, just blobs like this. And then mix it in with, maybe take the white too. Just add the white a little bit, just around it like this. Eh, see, very messy, very messy, okay? And then let's take the second shade, this orange, or I mean this pinkish, and add some in here, maybe some on the bottom right there some in here. I'm randomly doing this so you can add it wherever you want it or just follow follow what I'm doing. And then so I like to take and dab just a tip like this in my water and then take my third shade, this green one. Just add it right there in the middle maybe. Maybe some in here. Okay. Maybe in here as well. Okay, very colorful. We're gonna make it very colorful. So I'm gonna do the same thing, dab it in in the, just a tip in my water jar, and then take my second to the last color and then add it right in here. Maybe some in here. I'm gonna take some of this randomly just over the top right here. Just cover that top. We want the top to be a little lighter, I think. But, you know, see for yourself. Okay, next, I'm just gonna take randomly as you can see and do the same. Don't try to copy me too much. Have fun with it. Carry your paint wherever you want it. This part doesn't have to be exactly the same, okay? So then the last darker shade right here will go on the bottom, right here, like this. Just add it randomly, you see. And dab the tip of my brush in the water and then continue with this darker shade. Randomly add it right there. And there, that's good enough. Okay, as you can see, it's really rough and that's what we want, okay? Now, I'm gonna take my, you know, if you have one, clean it out. This is how I clean it. If you have that one, just lightly press down you don't need to clean it out fully, okay? Don't worry about changing the water or doing none, all that. You don't need to do that. And then just squeeze it out. And then, and then use paper towel to uh, dry it out softly. Um, swirl it onto the paper towel. But to save time, I have two of these. So I'm gonna use a dry one right, right now. And this is the fun part. This is where the blending starts to happen. And we're gonna gently and softly start from the lighter areas, okay? So let's just start from here and start to swirl it lightly and just blend in the colors. I'm like almost like dabbing it and then pulling the paint upwards, okay? You don't wanna blend them too much because you like some of the yellow showing in, you know, some of these colors in the background showing. So just go over 
lightly, go over lightly. And the first blending, you might, it might be rough, okay? So I'm not gonna blend too much. I'm just gonna roughly blend in the first part, like this. As you can see, it's starting to blend and neutralize everything because we're mixing our colors and our shades in. There you go. And so now I'm going to clean my brush, clean it out, you know, like this, and then I'm going to squeeze it out. I'm going to squeeze it out and then softly take away some of the water from the brush and then this is where I swirl. It doesn't have to be perfectly clean, okay? And it may be here. So in some areas I might have a little too much paint. So I'm gonna try to take it away from the canvas a bit. And this part, try to work a little bit faster just because the paint is drying. So um, don't spend too much time trying to blend in your first time going. Just do this really fast. Go back, clean your brush. And once your brush is dry, do the same process and then go back and start from the top and lightly press. And as you could see, as it starts to dry, it blends in really nicely. There you go. You can see it's still a little rough, but we just want that. It's kind of like, you know, like glowy. We don't want it to be too perfect. Okay, so let's quickly dry it out with a Hair blow dryer. Okay, so now our background is dry, it's ready to go. We're gonna start with adding flowers. Very simple. Um, this creates, you'll see once we add the details on the flowers, this will create an interesting look with the background. So let's continue, and this is what I have. I have black, yellow, and a little bit of red, and a little bit of black, yellow, and white. So let me mix this one first. It's going to be very dark still. You won't be able to tell the difference that much. There you go. And then our second shade here with a little bit of white added to it. I'm going to start off with these shades first. And we're gonna draw where we want our flowers to be. So 
let's take our half an inch flat brush, dab it in the water, and then squeeze it out. Basically, I want it damp. And then, and the reason why I do this is so it could run smoothly on the canvas. So then I'm gonna use this darker one and create my, wherever I want my uh, leaves, uh, flowers to be. So the first one will probably be right about, I'll say, right in here, right? Really roughly, just draw it out. One will be in there, and then one will be almost in the middle, like this. And then I'm gonna continue with the same color. But then here, I'm gonna make it a little wider, okay? Like this. And then have it be about like this. Okay, we just cover this part with this dark color. We're gonna continue, and then there's one right next to this one. It's gonna go like this. Okay, very simple. Very, very simple. And then next, same color, just with one color right here. We're gonna add one right about in here, I would say. Let's make it a little taller. So, this will go down like this. Okay. And then, And I saw these flowers in Florida when I went on a trip there, uh, and I thought they were so pretty. So I'm gonna try to paint them. Never painted them before. So this is perfect. You know, it doesn't have to be perfectly, um, you know, drawn out. Just make it rough bumpy a little bit, you know what I mean? This is like our sketch. We're drawing our base first. Okay, next, I'm gonna draw one right in here. Connecting, remember this one? So I'll draw it like this. It's like this, there you go. Just like that. Next, I'm gonna continue. And let's draw one so we're gonna draw one right here. So one will go down. And I'm gonna dab my brush in the water. And I'm gonna go up and go right about here. I'm gonna make it a little taller. So let's do this. And then let's draw it out like this. This one will be a little bigger. Okay, just quickly draw it out. All right, continue. We'll continue and then draw. Draw one. I'm gonna have this one come down. Actually, let's draw one first here. I'm gonna draw one right next to it, maybe a little lower. So, right about there. And I'm gonna just bring it down all the way right here. And then, this is where it goes like this. Okay. Next, I'm gonna draw one more in here. So I'm gonna dab my brush in the water so it can run smoothly and then we'll create a softer look. And we're gonna go all the way to the top right in here. 
and then I'm gonna draw this flower like this. Next, let's draw one on top, right here, there will be one in here. But this one will be kind of closed, so it'll be roughly closed like this. Okay, very simple. Just add that base coat in. And then next to this one, I'm gonna draw one more that is right about a smaller one maybe, right in here. Let's make a small one. Like this. Okay. Next, I'm dabbing my brush in the water a little bit so you can run smooth. We're going to continue and we're going to add one in here. So there'll be one big one coming out like this. Okay. a little bigger. Same thing with this one. Just a little bigger. I remember seeing them a little bigger, that's why. I'm trying to make them a little bigger. But you, if you like your shapes, you know, step back, take a look. If you like the way they look, um, let it be, okay? Alright, and then I'm going to draw a few in here. So I'm going to draw one. And draw one going down like this. And then like this. And then one in here, just off you know, inside of the canvas, peeking out. Like that. I think I want to draw one more in here for fun. Probably Maybe this tall. Maybe make it a little smaller, this one. Just like this. See, I'm just kind of having fun guessing. I'm trying to step back, just looking at it and seeing where I want it. Okay, so I think for now, let's, let's, I think that's good enough. We might add, come back and add more, but let's leave it at that for now, okay? So next, what we're going to do is, remember this lighter green shade right here? We're going to take our Artist Off brush. This is a number four. We're going to dab it in the water so it can be a little damp. And squeeze it out. And then we're going to take this green one. You won't be able to tell too much of the difference, but it'll create um, and just, you know, dab it randomly in just on the top and then as you go, fade it out as you go down. I mean, you won't be able to tell that much, okay? It just adds a little green glow, but just dab it and bring it in, not all the way down, okay? Do it on some of them. It's still gonna be very dark. Very fast. This is, there is no right or wrong on this part, okay? We're just creating a bunch of, 
bunch of texture to our flowers. Okay, since that one was a little dark, let's go ahead and create another shade, a couple more shades, actually. And let's add white and a little bit of yellow right here. And maybe take a little bit of this. I want it to be a little lighter, okay, like this. That's good enough. Just a lighter green color. Just because that one was a little too dark, but that's okay. That's okay, so I'm gonna clean out my brush. And use the same brush, and then I'm gonna add, just dab it in there like this. Dab it in there, this lighter color. And then fade it out. Don't go all the way down, okay? Mainly on the top. That's good enough there. We'll continue, do the same thing here. Just roughly. And if you added too much, um, you can always go back and add, you know, cover it with a darker color you have here and redo it. really quickly, really, really fast. Just dab it in there, just on the top, and then fade it out as you go down. Now you can use your finger to kind of clean out the bottom parts if you want. So as you can see, I'm just roughly adding that, not everywhere, just on some of these. Okay, really rough and fast right there. It's good enough. Okay. And now, what we're gonna do, let's mix part of this and this. Just mix it, whatever color it gives you. That's good enough right there. I'm gonna use this as a adding leaves. So let's take our detailed brush, dab it in the water, and use this color. Let's see what it gives us first. It might be too light, but Basically, we want to add a few little, oh, it's not bad, actually. And just add in your little, you know how there's some little leaves, maybe in here. Roughly add them in there. So. I'm actually going to use this green one. I think it's a little too light actually. So let's just leave that there. We might use it, but I thought it would look a little better, but I was wrong. I just use this color, just water with a detail brush. You, you can see what I'm doing. I'm swirling the brush to get my fine tip. And then I'm gonna create some of these little leaves. And just do that on all of them, okay? Add them in there. Create these little details, fine little details. And then fade it out as you go down. Doesn't have to be on all of them, okay? And 
And I'm sorry, I'm not really good with the names of the flowers, so I can't tell you what this flower, what kind of type of flower this is. So, um, my bad. If you guys know the name of this flowers that I'm painting, once I start adding more details, please comment below and help the others find, find out the name of this flower. That would help all of us out here. You can see them quickly just adding okay. mainly right here where the neck is I had bigger ones in there and then they fade out so just do that. Okay, and if you're if you got a little so much right there, it's easy to clean it out. Just use a paper towel before it dries, dab it in, you know, the water, and then just with the water and paper towel, lightly rub it out. Like this. Maybe not all of it will come out, but that's okay. All right, continuing. And randomly add them in there. Maybe here, add a few like that are a little bigger. Some in here. Maybe some in here. You know, some of them are. And as you get darker on the darker side here, just mix it in a little bit with this, just because this part is a little darker. But not too much. As you can see, I'm randomly adding little ones that are going all the way to the top like this. Okay. Okay, for now, that's good, moving on. So now I'm gonna clean my palette knife. So I won't carry the greens too much. And I added a little bit of red and white and a, lot, a little more red here and a little less white here, okay? Gonna create a couple of shades. And that's the color of our flower. It's pink. Okay, and then this one will be a darker pink. And I'm gonna add white just on the side okay i'm going to use my artist loft brush right here number four and i'm going to just clean it out use a paper towel and then first things first i'm going to take my dark one darker pink right here and i added some white in here in the corner just straight out of the tube and then i'm going to just fill in some of these areas and just fill them in like this, okay? Just the top right here. 
and then do the same thing on all of them. Just randomly, just the top, just dab it in there. You can see I'm randomly just adding that right underneath. Okay. And then in here. Some in here. And the last one. There you go. Okay, really quick. As you saw, maybe maybe even dab some here on the top. Maybe some is are are about to you know open up a little bit. So just dab it in on top a little bit. A few of them in there. Okay, so I'm gonna just clean out my um, just clean it out with a paper towel. You don't need to you know put it in the water. <clears throat> and then we're gonna take our lighter pink. Do the same thing, but we're gonna create like a little circular shape of this flower. So about right there. And just cover it, okay? And mix it in with that pink, that other pink, okay? All right, moving on. Just roughly mix it in. Okay. Maybe somewhere blended in in there, but we want it to be rough like this. Okay. Next. Okay, there you go. Really, really fast and easy. This one is a little one. So don't put too much on this one, just a little bit like this. Next, this one. Okay. And remember this one, just on top, just a few little Few little pink areas showing, but not everywhere. This one's still pretty closed. Maybe in here, 
maybe it's about to open. Okay, and I might do a few more of those a little bit. Let's see how this goes. Very straightforward. there. Okay, and now real quick, just with the white, you don't need to clean your uh, brush, just with the white, we're going to just add some little ones on top like this. Just dab it in like this and fade it out. Okay. Do the same thing, you know, same process, but just, you don't need to make it any bigger, but just put it in there like this. Okay, so now we got the base, you know, some definition added to our flowers. We're going to take our detail brush, dab it in the water, and use this white. Um, and this part will might take a little bit of time, so I'm just going to show you on a couple of these flowers, and then it's the same idea on all the other flowers. So I might even, you know, speed this process up. But first, um, let's, let's just take our detail brush. And with water, I'm going to add, let's start with this one. I'm going to add just a few of these, you know, strings. 
I saw that there's like a bunch of strings coming out of the flowers that I thought were very pretty. And then maybe some are coming down like this, you know. Make them a little taller. Just with white. Some of them are going to be a little taller and, you know. So it's not gonna be perfect. Okay, might have added a little too much there. And when that happens, I just go back and take the pink and just clean it out a bit. And a darker pink. But I want some of those strings in there, okay? So just maybe mix it in with the pink so it could be a little pinky. And then I'm going to add a few more in here. And then this one will have little ones. Okay, and then this one will have a few. Just white and water. This one will have some taller ones. And it's the same idea from, for all these other flowers. I'm gonna do them real quick.
and then quickly with the white go over and just draw a little bit red ar around these evenly just on some of the areas I guess Okay, and now with the white, just whatever white you have left over, mix it in just a little bit with the yellow. And we're going to um, draw some highlights. So, just like this. And we're going to swirl it, dab it in the water, and then just go around. Draw out the highlight. Okay, just like that. And do that to all of them. Just you know, skip some areas.
just with the yellow and a little bit of water. I'm gonna add it to a line, you know, some in here. Just the yellow and water. Just go over some of them. Not everywhere, but just on some of the areas. It'll make it stand out a bit more. Just yellow and water. Quickly go over the, some of these. step back and look at it and then see if we need to add anything else to the flowers and then we'll continue on with some of the butterflies okay that's good enough okay so you added as much detail as you want on this let's continue and add our butterflies and what I got here is red and yellow and then less red and a little more yellow and just white and black. I'm gonna mix these real quick, just these two colors. And we're gonna make our butterflies reddish orange. So I think I'm gonna add a little more yellow here just cause the they're very similar and I want it to be a little more yellow. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of this, not too much, mix it in with my yellow, just like this. We just want it to be a light color. There you go, orangey red, yellow, bright yellow orange and white and black and then let's draw our butterflies and first thing i like to do is sketch it out kind of what we did with the flowers i'm going to take my half an inch or if you're more comfortable using a detail brush please go ahead and do so i'm just going to take this black and sketch out my butterfly so i'm going to have one right here right in there and I'm going to draw his face like this. And then his body kind of comes like this, comes out like this. Okay. Just cover this in black for now. And then this is where his wings come. And I'm going to make it. this and then I'm going to go down kind of curve up and then there's another like little loop here make it a little bigger and then before I finish that I'm gonna have it come down like this okay there you go. So that'll be our first butterfly. And I'm, I'm gonna make it a little taller here. Okay, and then I'm gonna draw a little bump here. Create a shape for our butterfly. 
Same thing here. I'm going to make it a little lower. About like this. There you go. Okay, and then our other butterfly will be right in here. I'm going to draw him right in here. So his face will be right in here. His body will be in here and he's like in, in there drinking the sweetness out of those flowers. Okay, just the black. And then I think I'm gonna, this is gonna be interesting. So I think I'm gonna start from here and bend it over. We'll see how that turns out. about there and curves and make it a little bigger And this is where you just, you know, look at the shape and see how big you want it, you know, the winds to be. I'm just going to go down real quick. And then there's, remember, there's this loop here. It comes out and it goes like this. And then I'm going to bring it down all the way up, probably up to here. So I'm going to go down like this. I'm going to bring it down and make a big circle there. We're just creating our shape first. And then the wing will come out about in here. are two big butterflies and now what we're gonna do is fill it in and I'm gonna take my artist off brush here and remember these shades we made let's go ahead and take our red and add it just blend it in right there randomly and then randomly right here behind Just add those in real quick. Same thing here. Just roughly add that in like that. And then I'm gonna take the yellow. And the yellow underneath, roughly. You can see it's very rough. And just add that yellow real fast. Fill in that area. Next, do the same thing here. And I'm running out, so I'm just going to use some of this orange too. Add them in real fast and then and clean. I'm going to take my bigger uh, soft brush, number number eight. Just going to dab it in the water and
you know, go over and just roughly blend it in. Actually, I think what will work better is our fluffy brush. Let's do that. Let's take our fluffy brush out of the water, squeeze the water out. I think this will be better. The butterflies are big enough to do this. Um, and just gently squeeze it out, swirl the brush onto the paper, paper uh, towel to get uh, most of the water out. And it's still a little damp, you could see. And just, just don't try to carry the paint out, but just in the middle, just dab it in like this and it'll blend in nicely. And you don't need to blend it in perfectly, okay? You want some of the roughness to show. So just to take the brush strokes away. And it's okay if you cover some of the black because we're gonna go over again. Okay, just like this. There, really fast, nice and easy. Okay, and now this is where the details come in. We're gonna quickly dry this out. Okay, so now you have the uh, background dry. And with the detail brush and water and black, we're gonna create some patterns on our butterfly here first. So let's first go over and Draw that out first. And just outline it real quick. just with water and black, draw like a little connection here. It like separates, goes in, goes in there like this. Okay, and we're gonna create some patterns on our butterflies to make it look interesting. And then here we're just gonna draw a line like this and then Gonna connect some of these darker lines like this with the water and black. And then this line is gonna connect to this. Okay, and then we're gonna continue. And then this line is going to connect to that. Very straightforward, simple. I'm going to continue. And then in here, we have a little separation like this. And let's fill in this with the dark, like this really quickly. And then same thing here. Let's make this a little bigger. Okay. And then here, we're gonna continue black line and let it touch right here. Okay, so let's do this one real quick. Just do that. and then fill in this area with 
black. Maybe not everything. Okay. Just a rough sketch. Continuing. And then this one kind of fades away like that. And then this. I'm going to cover this with black. Real quick. Get a little thicker. There you go. And then let's draw a few more details on this one. So this is gonna have like a little nice pattern in here. So let's just cover that real quick with black. Like this. And then connect that in there. Butterflies have these beautiful shapes in them. There you go. Okay, so let's draw a little That's good right there. Let's do the same thing on this one real quick. Little antennas. Just like that. Okay. 
next. I'm gonna draw some shapes here as well. So let's make this thick. And then it kind of bends here. And then it goes down like this. Okay. And then here goes up. This and then one more in here. that and then let's continue that and bring it down like this just cover it in black this area okay and then here gonna cover it in black here but not everywhere just leave some of these open like this and then the rest can be covered oops I kind of smeared some black as you can see but before it dries I'm gonna dab my paper towel and just clean it out a bit it happens just with the paper towel and wet paper towel back and fill it in. Okay, next, fill in this area. here just water and black this with black I'm gonna add the details in inside these black things okay next I'm gonna continue And here it connects, goes like this. And then one more little one. There you go. Okay, so we're done with our black outlining the shadows. Okay, now we're, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the white, very simple. See the white? And just with water and white, add a little bit of the details. 
I'm gonna clean my brush because it's carrying some of the black just the white and then we're gonna add little dots okay just pure white Good enough there. Continue. As you can see, I'm roughly adding them in. You can make them as perfect as you want. Totally up to you, okay? Just with the white at first. And do the same thing on this one. Once you got all the little dots wherever you want them to go, and you can continue here.
Okay, and then I'm gonna take the orange here and go over some of these areas just slightly. Some of them aren't like um, white, you know. So with the orange, cover some of them. And then with a the yellow, just pure yellow straight out of the tube and water, you can go back and fill in some of these really quickly. You know, make your butterfly stand out just a little more by adding that yellow. Um, you can do that in here. You don't need to do it everywhere. Just yellow and water. You almost won't tell the difference, but it's, it's there. All these little details matter. And then clean out your detail brush and just with the water and white, go over some of these um, and cover the butterfly a little bit. Okay, just a few of them. So that looks like it's in there. It's not just covering flowers. There you go. Maybe one right here. And then for the final details, I'm gonna just use the red and the detail brush. And in my flowers, just add a few little dots just a few of them inside okay and just go over and add a few red little dots inside not too many okay That'll make the flower more pop out. Just a few.
And okay, we are done. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And uh, this was something a little different than my usual work. So it was really fun to paint this. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know what you thought down below in the comments. Be sure to like and subscribe and stay tuned for next week's tutorial. Take care and God bless.